Happy New Year, Aquarius. Tap in. Let me know where you celebrated New Year's Eve or bringing in the new year. Let me know where your country is. Drop your big three down below. Claim those New Year blessings in the comment section as well. And we're going to keep this really short and sweet on this Saturday. Aquarius, you have the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, more fire with the Six of Wands in reverse, the Eight of Cups in reverse, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, water energy, more fire with the Two of Wands, and the Five of Wands here at the bottom of the deck. So Aquarius, what I'm getting is as we're bringing in the new year, it's either somebody from your past with the Eight of Cups in the reverse. The Eight of Cups is all about walking away from people, places, and things that are no longer serving you. And, and that only that, with this particular card, let me move this up. Um, turn this around just for the sake of being able to look at this. You see these Eight Cups, and from afar, it looks like it's two tables, and like these feelings are equal. But really, you're walking away from somebody or somebody is coming back that put their feelings up above yours. When you look at this closely, it's the table and there's tears on this. Okay. So you could be telling me that it's a past person coming back, sending you these love messages or messages of passion, I should say. That's ego is, you know, they're trying to win at all costs. They don't, they, this could be somebody who you felt like doesn't necessarily want to be with you, but they don't want to see you with anybody else. Or the fact that they're losing you is affecting them in some type of way and they're fighting that. Or it could be a new person with this page of wands that you feel is very immature. Pages are children. Um, they are messengers sending you these messages, maybe even telling you whatever it is that they feel that you want to hear here. And this is you not being sure if you should leave, if you should entertain this or walk away from this. And we see that here with this two of wands, which is being at a crossroads, having some thoughts and getting ready to take some action here. The five of wands, which is all about competition, chaos, and confusion here, a messy situation. So let me know down in the comment section if this is a new person or an old person that is either fighting a breakup, fighting walking away, or trying to come back in during this new year. Aquarius, you have more fire energy here with the eight of wands in the reverse. More Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This is a card of swift communication swift movement, traveling, but this is also a card of change. And this in the downward position is somebody who is trying to fight this change, sending you these messages of passion, how they feel. And this could even be with these messages of passion, because this could be a breakup here with this eight of cups that you're trying to either manifest or walk away from this person. And this person is fighting this change for whatever reason, could be for ego reasons, could be... You could also be dealing with a Leo here with the Six of Wands. Excuse my cat here going crazy in the background, distracting me. This, you could also be dealing with a Capricorn. We're in Capricorn season. And maybe with this new year, you decided that you were going to walk away from people, places, and things that are no longer serving you. Only giving people time that are pouring into you the way that uh, you, um, you pour into them. But you are with this Eight of Cups and this person trying to fight this change, sending you these messages of passion, whether that is of anger or love, letting you know how they feel, trying to sugarcoat, sugarcoat things and make you feel good about keeping them around. This is a toxic situation. This card right here is a card of obsessions, addictions, um, third party situations, people's vices, getting the best of them, whether that is drugs, money issues, gambling, whatever the case may be. This is somebody wanting to keep you tied up in a situation. For those of you that this is a new person who's sending you these messages, this is somebody with this eight of wands in the reverse. This is somebody who might be telling you that they're going through a breakup here or that they've ended a relationship that's really texting you, emailing you, DMing you on the low here. And that's this Capricorn moment, this devil card here. Is, it's a toxic situation, somebody wanting to win at all costs, maybe even trying to have their cake and eat it too here. Aquarius, you have big cancer showing up here with the chariot in reverse. Now, this card is all about the duality of a situation and being it being right next to this devil card and right below this eight of cups, which is walking away from people, places, and things in this person fighting this change. We have two eights here, the eight of wands and the eight of fire. <laughs> the eight of wands, fire, and the eight of water, cups. Excuse me, it's first thing in the morning. This chariot is all about emotionally moving forward, 
evaluating your emotions and evaluating the situation here. The duality that when things were good, they are really good, but when they're bad, they're very bad. Or maybe there's even two sides to the situation and that's why you need to leave it alone here. What's underneath this five of wands just for fun? Okay, the justice card. So the justice card, 11s are all about new beginnings. We're in a new year. The justice card is all about bringing balance back to a situation. And we're looking at the duality of things here just with this cancer card. And should you stay? Should you go? Should you continue to entertain this person or take some type of action? Or maybe you just need to leave this closed because some door is not closed. Whether that is you entertaining someone from the past that's immature that doesn't want to accept the change that you're moving on, or whether this is a new person wanting to win at all costs that is dealing with a third party that you can feel intuitively. This is some, if, if this is a new person, you kind of, you're not sure about whether or not you should deal with this. But this is also a card of truth, balance, the truth coming out here. The nine of pentacles, Virgo energy. This is a card of being single, free, abundant, happy, creative here, but this is also you drawing a line in the sand, wishing somebody well. It's not that you want anything bad to tap into this person, whether they are a past lover, current lover, or a new person, but you're just separating yourself because you can feel with this devil card energy and this chariot here and this lack of balance with this justice card here that something isn't right. The ace of wands here, this is somebody looking for a brand new passion opportunity with someone else on the low with this eight of wands in the reverse, secret text messages, secret DMs here. Maybe there's a reason why you can't call them on the phone during certain times here. Or maybe even this is you, Aquarius, looking for something else, knowing that you're ending a relationship with somebody who's immature, wanting to win at all costs, has these ego issues, is very toxic, and it's you looking for a way out. Not saying that's the best way to do it, but sometimes you got to do it like that. Coming from a Capricorn. This Knight of Wands here is about quickly changing directions. Leo energy, but this is also the player card. So again, wanting to win at all costs, a toxic situation, and somebody quick, quickly switching directions between you and somebody else. And that's this duality, being stuck here. This person going back and forth, and maybe even you going back and forth between this past person and somebody new, or this past person and knowing that it is time for you to move on and find something new drawing a line in the sand with them and letting them know about your boundaries as you move forward as a single person or somebody in a relationship with somebody else here with this Ace of Wands. The Three of Swords. So this is a card of a betrayal of the heart. Third party situations. Third parties can be other lovers, which is this is exactly what this looks like. But this can also be friends, families, coworkers getting in your business here. Because this is somebody trying to protect themselves with this red circle here, this curtain falling over the floor to cover some things up, and these three swords pointing outwards. It's everybody else's fault, but theirs. Who is this person, Aquarius, that you're dealing with here? Underneath this justice card, we have the Hierophant in reverse and the Knight of Pentacles, the most solid and stable knight in the deck, but it is the most slow moving. This Hierophant, big Taurus energy here, so lots of Earth. We're still in Capricorn season. We have Capricorn energy here. Taurus energy here, earth energy with the nine of pentacles and now the knight of pentacles. But this is somebody, there's a breakup coming here. The uh, Hierophant is a card of the marriage card. It is a card of contracts. It is also a card of forgiveness. But this in the reverse is somebody who's maybe asking for forgiveness here. Maybe that's these messages of passion or trying to butter you up. But the change and the progress is coming very slow. Maybe it is you that's the solid and stable offer here. And this person is giving you empty promises, empty promises of commitments, empty promises of change here. And with this Knight of Cups, things are muddy. With this earth and water here, muddy, it's hard for you to maybe even make a move here with this Knight of Pentacles. Maybe that's what's holding you up from moving on here. But know that there's other opportunities elsewhere when you walk away from this. Some of you may be worried about, oh, how long will I be single? I want to deal with somebody else here. Could be you moving in silence trying to look for love elsewhere before you actually cut this person off or before you kick this person out of your house or whatever the case may be here. But there's other love opportunities for you elsewhere, Aquarius. Aquarius, you have the sun, big Leo energy, Capricorn energy here with the queen of pentacles. This is happiness, triumph, the grass being greener here on the other side. And when you look at this sun card up close, I've never seen this before, there's a pentacle in front of him, just like there's a pentacle in front of this queen of pentacles here. This is laying everything out on the table. But when I see this, um, when I look at her traditional deck, it's usually the queen holding a pentacle out in her hand like this. So this is you investing in yourself 
getting yourself back on track, healing yourself from this crazy relationship where you were dealing with somebody immature or from dealing with this person who was immature that's a new person that was trying to pull you into this third party situation, focusing on yourself and what it is that you want. It's a new year here with this sun card. You can do things differently, pouring into yourself, making sure that your situations are balanced and you're not overdoing it, pouring into people more than they're pouring into you. The six of cups in the reverse is the proposal card. But in the reverse, this is you removing a proposal, your love, your emotions away from a situation here. Again, this happiness triumph, pulling away and everything is going to be okay, Aquarius. And it's the end of 2021, the world in reverse. This is somebody who is trying to come back. Could be a fire sign here. But this is somebody hoping that you're not ending, starting a new chapter without them. This is a card of traveling, tying up those loose ends, a pause before starting a brand new journey here. Somebody's fighting this change. Let me know if it is you or this other person. Aquarius, let me know what resonated for you down below. Let me know who this person is or these people are down below in the comment section. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Check out the other content on my channel. I upload almost daily. Check out your sun, moon, and rising. And I will be checking in on you soon, Aquarius fam. Keep it real.